Welcome in everybody, I'm G Paul Silverman. This is an update video for my Marvel Strike Force account. So to let everybody know, if you've been following my content, you might understand or might know already, and or if you're in my Discord. Basically what's going on is I got served after Christmas, contempt of court, I signed a purge plan in 07, it's been 15 years, and they want to punish me now to make an example of me. I have actually low, owe less child support right now than I uh, have in the past. And for some reason, they want to lock me up in a pandemic epidemic to punish me where I could get COVID and die. So I'm going to ask February 16th that they give me leniency and they don't sentence me to 30 days in jail with work release because I'll barely be there except to sleep. And all that's doing is endangering my life and costing the government and the state more money to incarcerate me. There's zero, absolutely zero reason. But I'm, I'll keep you updated on what happens. If, if it does happen, I'd have to start my go to jail essentially April 1st. And I wouldn't be out until May. So I wouldn't be able to play games and make YouTube videos and grow my channel to do this full time. So I'm hoping that don't happen. But I will keep you all updated. Moving forward though with my content on my channel for Marvel Strike Force, I want to go over kind of what's happened here. I haven't been able to play. I started a job. It paid 17 bucks an hour. It was awful. I come home, I was dirty, I hurt. It was just a terrible job. So I went three days and I said, I you know what, I can't do it. Throw me in jail. I just couldn't do it. I physically could not do it after not working for as long as I have. And just in the environment, it was so nasty, terrible, dirty, right? Tar and stuff in my hair. I was almost ready to shave my head. And I've been growing my hair for over 10 years, closer to 15 years probably now. And just the sacrifices weren't worth it, all right? So I quit. I had a job within a half hour paying less, but still paying really well, over $13 an hour. And... It's working 55 to 60 hours a week, Monday through Friday, 10 hour days, and then half day Saturday. And I've got myself in a groove and I'm ready to come back and be able to play the game in the evenings and on my one hour lunch break to where I can stay active and hit all my, you know, 7500 World Warrior and be an asset to my alliance. So I talked to my main alliance with the potential of me going to jail and such. What I'm going to do is I, I, I left Titans Reborn. They are looking for a few members. Amazing alliance. Getting ready to start Doom 2 raids. I just can't hold myself accountable to that anymore because my my fate is kind of in the hands of the judge moving forward. So what I am going to do is I come over to GPOC Quest and I got in here with my alliance that I started for new and free, free to play players back with GPOC Silvermane. And, and I changed my name over here on my main account to GPOC Silvermane. And I made my other account GPOC Silvermane free to play. I have no intention of playing two accounts, and we are recruiting. I want to give a big shout out to every member of GPOC Quest that was active and held the alliance together and continued to grow and thrive. And I want to give a special shout out to Spoopy Cell who took the, who was granted and given and took the mantle of leader of GPOC Quest and did phenomenal. Tons and tons of mad respect for me and the alliance. I've seen it in the Discord, I've seen it in the chat. Phenomenal job, Spoopy Cell. I'm grateful. So we are looking for five members. We have one in the alliance that has stated he's no longer playing. I just haven't removed him yet. As well as my free-to-play account will be removed as needed for somebody to come in. Because I know there's a lot of players out there that want to join GPOC Quest. Or that are just looking for an active, awesome alliance. We are doing Ultimus Raids. We're going to ask that you're 1.5 to 2 million plus. You can have 10 million, 20 million if you want and join us. But we are doing Ultimus Raids. And we're doing, I think, Beta, Gamma, Alpha, 2, and 3. So as we get some stronger members, we'll be doing 3 and 4. And we'll grow together. But we won't be moving into Doom Raids anytime soon until the Alliance or the majority of the Alliance is prepared and ready to do that. At which point we can bring the other few members that aren't strong enough. And they will get those awesome rewards for being in the Alliance. And they will grow twice as fast to be able to do it with us. Essentially catching them up to us. So at a minimum... You know, 2 million would be ideal. If you have 1 million, 1.5 million, but you're just dedicated, active, all day, every day, looking for an awesome alliance to be a part of and grow through the coming future, hit me up on my Discord. It's linked in the description of the video below. We'd love to give you a shot. Like I said, you probably fit better if you're closer to 2 million plus. You'd have a better experience in our alliance because we're all getting larger. Now, bear in mind, there are a few of us that are quite significant in power level. I've been playing over two or right around two years. And there's a few of us that have bigger power levels. So, you know what I mean? That's kind of, we're just trying to get somebody, some people that are similar power levels 
for the most part though it's right around two million one to two million power level people are approaching two million and such so I, like i said if you are at a million but you're very active light spinner type of deal you're going to grow fast type of thing definitely message me on discord personally and we can get you into our alliance or just request to join but it'd be a lot better if you message me because i get a lot of random uh can i join things applications essentially and I don't usually accept them because I don't know up from down or who is who. You know, I'd like to talk to the person a little bit beforehand and fill them out. You know what I mean? It's real, real simple. A couple messages back and forth. We'll get you in here. All right. So I, I left Titans Are Born and they are recruiting, like I said. But my focus is going to be Jeep Bot Quest. I'm going to bring you war videos, updates on my account. I want to break the will of Marvel Strike Force. But to do that is just my animosity and anger and hatred towards... Scopely and Boundless and how bad they're ruining Marvel Strike Force. Honestly, right now it's swirling the toilet bowl. How do you do a swirl here? Um, I left because Arena allows cheating. They haven't fixed it in years. Multiple other issues with the game that they haven't fixed. They just keep cash grabbing. Putting out new characters. Restricting them further to where you can't get them at a 4 or a 5 star. Now you can only get them at a 3. And that's if you're spending, you know. Or you're an in-game player. And then if you're a new player, you can't even get them. Like with Scarlet Spider situation. They've constantly made mistake after mistake after mistake. I was really optimistic in the beginning of the year because they finished last year off terribly with Thanos giving. Um, but they brought in new leadership. And they made all these promises and statements of how great the game was going to be and the changes they were going to work on. Well, I quit spending because I don't agree with the arena. Supposedly they're dropping it and bringing something else, uh, something about a Swiss setup. I don't know what that means for payouts. Hopefully it doesn't allow cheating. Um, otherwise, I'm still not going to spend if they were to fix that, I would happily start spending again uh, to better my experience in Marvel Strike Force and to give back to the creators. That's why I spend. So they keep the game alive, keeps them making it. But when they're making, you know, three quarters of a billion dollars in three years and we're having the problems we're having, I'm just, I'm not giving them any more money. I'll play free to play and have as much fun as I can with Jeepbox Quest here and make content for it. But they're not getting any of my money until those things, those, those things are fixed. Now, coming back and seeing this stuff, I've seen a lot of stuff out there like Thanos giving over again. Scope, please drop the ball again. Um, they did communicate that it's a well fest. So if you're not spending money, you're not going to enjoy it. So at least they're communicating, I guess. That makes it okay, right? That's what all these other con content creators are saying. Um, and there are supposed to be well-only events or spender-only events. That's understandable, but give us something also for the free-to-play aspect. Um, I'm just really disappointed in the direction it's going. I'm hoping they, they remedy all of this and get us right on the back, back on the right track by the end of June. Um, if not, I just don't see the game lasting much longer. Like I said at the beginning of the year, when we got that interview and such with uh, Valley Flying and the creator, or what is it, the creative director or whatever, the new guy, I can see this game going forever. Ten plus years easily. But the current direction they're going, I don't see it lasting more than a year with the player base not just quitting, essentially. Um, and I hope I didn't miss the train on that because a lot of the veterans and spenders and such left like a year and a half ago, a year ago. Um, even six months ago with Future Revolution in September and August. Um, a lot of them were using Canadian IP addresses just so they could get out of Marvel Strike Force. And I'd really hate to see the game completely just die. Um, so they definitely need to start investing some of that money they're cash grabbing into making the game better. But moving forward, like I said, I'm going to be making content as I can. More tour, more on the weekends, some in the evenings, but I am still really sore, working lots of hours, getting used to this. Definitely like and subscribe. Completely free to do, but that way you get updated when I put out new videos. Some of the first videos and some of the videos I've been working on before I went back to work, I'm going to continue to do and finish with, instead of breaking the will, it's more going to be like my Iron Man journey or something. And I've got little clips of me investing into him, you know, two, three million at a time and talking about him and what my plan is for him. And I'm just going to edit it all together and put it out as my journey with Iron Man going to G15. And then I'm going to show him off, you know, like in war or raids and just, you know, let him shine how he shines, whether it's terrible or great. He's still my favorite character. I'm going to invest into him and see what happens. And that's something that I don't want everybody out there to do without researching it because Scopely has made it to where if you don't listen to these content creators and you build your favorite characters, you can't do the flash events. You can't complete the challenges. You can't beat the raids. And you know what I mean? You really have to farm and build certain characters that they're charging you money for to be able to beat the content they design in the game. And that's their business model. Well, I've done that for two years and 
I'm not spending any more till they fix their stuff. I'm focusing on my characters, and I'm not fun. I'm just not going to call it breaking the will, because that, that's out of animosity, anger, and hatred, and that's just not what gaming's about. It ruins my experience. So I'm going to have fun, do wars, grow with Jeepaw Quest, um, hang out with friends. I am sad about Titans Reborn, like you would not even believe. I've been with them for two years, and I, I wish them the best. Um, by far. I love that alliance. It's an amazing alliance. Anybody would be blessed to be in that alliance. Definitely check them out. But that is my plan moving forward. I want to wrap this video up by saying I appreciate everybody that watches it. I appreciate, I really appreciate everybody that subscribed so far. We're headed for a thousand subscribers. Definitely subscribe because upon hitting a thousand subscribers, we will be having a raffle giveaway. Right now, I'm giving away a hundred dollars when we hit a thousand subscribers. But if somehow we can hit a thousand subscribers before the end of February. So March 1st, we're over a thousand subscribers. I will be doubling that up to $200 given away, giving back to my community, whether that's eight $25 cards or four fifty dollars We'll see how we'll do it. You know, maybe three places, a hundred or 50 and two 25s or something. I don't know, but I'd love to give back to my community. And that's just for us boosting to that thousand subs faster. That makes me a YouTube partner sooner. And I will continue to do giveaways like that as we hit mile markers per subscribers and such. Um, I have tons and tons of visions on what I want to do with my business and my YouTube future. So, I would definitely love you to be a part of it. Free to do, like and subscribe, help support the channel, comment down below. I'd really love to know, and maybe leading into another video, what are your thoughts with Scopely and Boundless and Scopel Next, Fox Next, whatever they were called? What's your opinion of Marvel Strike Force in its current state? Do you plan on continue playing? Is there something that might make you leave and or stay if they changed it? Let me know how you're feeling about the current state of the game. Um, I know I take it very seriously. and a lot, There's a lot of players out there that take it more seriously than I do. Um, but I know there's a lot of casuals that are really enjoying the game. And that's why I just want to make fun, interesting content, uh, factual, and show off some of the cool stuff that people might not be doing, like Iron Man or a massive Hulk, because they're following what Scopely makes you build. All right, much love, stay healthy. I'm hoping to see you in the next one. I know we'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a great day.